missing her because she usually stands next to the... Yes, we get Heather. Here's... Here's Heather Poe, if I am right. Hey, I, I know this might seem creepy and all, but please don't blow me off, okay? Someone told me I could find you here. I mean, I've been looking all over for you since that night. Because I just wanted to... I'm in your debt. I want to help you. I owe you my life, and I feel like I need to repay you. Uh, I almost forgot. I'm Heather. Heather Poe. I'm not really you out or anything, am I? Hmm. Let's just play around with her a little bit. Turn around, go back home, you cannot be involved with me. I actually don't know if that will still lead to me having her. I might need to re restart and do once again everything without camera on. Wait! Here, I, I got you this. I thought you might be able to use it. I can be useful to you. I'd do anything, just tell me you'll let me help you. Let me stay with you. No, that is the power of our blood. No, if you stay with me, you get hurt. Get out of here. No. I don't know really. I want to get more interesting lines of, out of her. You don't mean that. I know you need me. It's just... Just let me stay near you for a little while. And if you still don't want me around, if you tell me to go, I'll go. I promise. Oh my, someone this full. Let's try once or luck once again. I don't think so. Heather, are you listening? Oh damn, we are all pressed our luck. So I will just repeat from the last save. The effect you have on me made me want to live. It's all because of you. You saved my life. Please, let me be of use to you. I'll do whatever, I don't care. Well, this is Heather once again. I replayed. Saved right now. Hmm. And I just got the line I wanted to. Basically, we just needed to choose another line. To, oh man, I, did I make a mistake, Heather? I only did that to save your life. She had a nice speech, and now I actually wanted to get this out of her. You have any sense? Maybe if I smack you around a little, you learn. Hurt me. I don't care. Do whatever you want. I just want to be with you, no matter what. Yeah. This is this is the real power of our blood. You can see in here. It's basically what it does to people. Like a narcotic, I guess. This is called tough love, Heather. <laughs> it might stink a bit. Your touch, uh, no matter how hard, is gentle and loving. No matter what you do, it won't change these feelings I have for you. Okay, this is quite creepy. What you said. Okay, but I don't want to lose her again, so that's what I like to hear you may have hang out around me for now. Really? I promise you won't regret it. Promise! I'll give you money, I'll give you things, everything. I will be... important to you. Wait for me at my place. I can't have you following me around, it's dangerous. Uh, I know where you live. I took there first. I'll meet you at your place, and when you do come back, I'll take care of whatever you want. I'd do anything for you. That's creepy, Hedra. Do whatever you want. Goodbye. Okay, she knew where we live. <laughs> she doesn't mind if he would hit her. Actually, if he would actually hit her, she might die. And run away, and I wouldn't suggest doing that, but... She just allowed us to. That is why it's useful to play around with chat. The things you can say and the things how to how those characters react. That's why it is useful. 
because you might get something you do not even expect to get. Oh damn it! I've said Grout. all I need to for now. Wow, there's two of them, exactly the same. Why is there three Ventrus in the meeting and one Tremir? I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. Everyone on board was massacred. There weren't any survivors. And the Ankaran sarcophagus? What did you see? There was blood all over the floor. Handprints indicate it was opened from within. Open? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering molly couples filing out. Yeah, who were they? Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. Worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin, which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, an Alcavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone or is missing. The Sabbat's appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. Firstly, what did you say? The city's clan and elders. So why again there was three clan elders to, to venture and one was Jameer? And is Maximilian Strauss that old? What a waste of my time, she, actually, but... Hmm. A house call to a goddamn shutin? I want action. This is goal work. Each minor problem, like a grain of sound. Each night, I inherit the desert. It's the seemingly insignificant, time-consuming trivialities that plague my night. Which is why, when I assign you a simple task, I only want to hear unbridled vehemence on your part. Understood? Actually, you inherit the desert and give it all to me. That's not fair! I understand. What should I do? Yes, about Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately, so you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. This is going to be fun. I'll go right away. When we hear from Grout, he may come back. Until then. Grout's dead, but he has a fun house. Okay, let's go to Grout immediately and then end this video. How come I just closed it and entered? Okay, I walked through objects. We'll need to remember that. Not. We would go to Grout if we get to talk to someone. I don't want to do just that, but the Grout mission is kind of a fun one. The one I really like. So, today let's end here. So, good night, people. Or good day, whatever you're watching. And uh, see you again when I will film the Grout part. Bye bye. Or oh, the perfect world if you are watching. Bye-bye.